22 years old from Arizona and I'm your certified fat. Be for real. You said what? A certified what? I'm sorry, did you say batty? I heard fatty. Cancel that podcast. You guys are ridiculous. Stop. Stop. Yo, Yo. What's good, YouTube? Today we're going to be looking at the girl who believes she's a 10 out of 10. I'm going to be honest. If you think you're a 10 out of 10, that's cool. No, actually, it's not cool because it's a lie. Nobody's a 10 out of 10. It's one thing to have confidence and it's another thing to be delusional. They're calling her a 10 on the Richter scale. So if you're watching this from YouTube, make sure you guys join us on Twitch. Links in the description. We're live every day. And without further ado, let's get started. Look okay. who they have as their guest. Like, she she actually look good, bruh. Like, does she not look good? This is not everything you would want in a woman. I'd hit this. That's a lie. Shout out her, though. Who they have as their guest. I haven't seen the full podcast. I haven't seen too much of it. I've only seen the first 10 seconds. And okay. I was extremely irritated by her. And it's hard to feel bad for someone who's this obnoxious and on top of that blind and clearly delusional. If you look up the word delusional in the dictionary, this woman's face will show. Without now she look fine there. I ain't gonna lie. Stop hating. Shout out to all the big women, all right? That's it. Let's just jump right into it. Further ado, we're going to have the guests introduce themselves. So please tell us your name, age, and occupation. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Kiko. I'm 23. Uh, I go okay. to UCSB and I also bartend. Okay. I'm Ali, but I know for Al Weezy. I'm 23 years old from Arizona and I'm your certified bad bitch. Your, huh? The certified baddie. Talking to the mic. Yeah, talk. They're assholes. They wanted reconfirmation like, okay, talking to the mic. Be for real. You said what? A certified what? I'm sorry, did you say baddie? I heard fatty. Cancel that podcast. You guys are ridiculous. Stop. Stop. Talking to the mic just so they can uh, hear you. Say, uh, your, say your occupation one more time for just, us. Just so they can. My occupation is a certified bad bitch. <laughs> had three opportunities to change her mind and change what she said. Maybe the first time they didn't hear it, excuse me, you're a certified what? At that point, you should have realized, oh shit, I could probably change that. I could just stay humble like the other girl was. Look, look, she just has confidence, bro. Y'all ain't gotta do her like that. Don't get me wrong. Yes, she might be chopped, but like at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. If this tells you anything, it's just do not have confidence over the internet. You will be flamed. That's right. Like just stop capping, bro. Come on now. If she's a 10 out of 10 and a certified baddie, holy shit. I must be at a million out of 10. You know, once again, not trying to be mean here, but certified baddie, bad bitch. It's an opposite day to day. What's going on? And there's nothing wrong with having a good self-esteem, but you also got to be realistic, right? This girl makes Chris Chan look hot. Very much baddie vibes. I'm 23 years old. 20, okay. And Kiko, 23, right? Yeah. Okay. Imagine she rejects you. No, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If she rejects me, no, on God, I'm gonna look at the mirror for like about 10 minutes and self reflect. Shout out her. But I'm just saying, bro, if I get rejected from this, no, that's when you know you reach a rock bottom. Y'all making me look mean. Stop. I'm not gonna lie, but I did my research. Don't ask me why. This is a transgender. Snorlax. Wow. Who said Jab of the Hut? Nobody said that. I was wondering why this person didn't have any feminine traits, at least from their appearance, is because they were born a man. I don't know how deep they are into their transition, but yeah. <laughs> and certified bad bad bitch or boss ba I very much baddie vibes bad like full time what? baddie <laughs> no breaks Cap. What? So it's very much full time what, is that, what does that mean <laughs> can you explain that it's just a lifestyle like it's I mean, if you get it, you get it. The rules are there. You don't even get it. All right, stop. Chat, what would y'all give her? Zero out of 10. I would give her a 10 out of 10. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Chat, I'm, I'm a little down right now. I could use a little bit of like a little coochie. I can, I can use a little something. I mean, I feel like every girl can, every woman can be a certified baddie. It's just the mindset and it's a- It's not a mindset, it's a look. If, if there was a def, if there was a dictionary and you were hired by Webster's to define mm. certified Bad bitch, is that what it is? Yeah. Here's the thing, they didn't even ask her this. They were like, what do you do? Do you have a job? Do you bully people for money online? Like I do, like what do you do exactly? That's what the girl said, oh, I'm just a bartender. You know, she didn't say, um, yeah, I'm so fucking hot. To me, this- She said she's a bartender? I'm not gonna lie, I don't drink. If I saw her at the bartending area, I'm certainly definitely not gonna drink. <laughs> Bro, tee up chat, stop being me. Not showing her being secure. This is her being completely insecure. I low key wish I was this delusional, but once again, this is not confidence. This is just projecting and like being like, well, I'm not a certified baddie, but I want to pretend I am. Everyone in the comment section below here, please tell me. Do you think she's a certified baddie? Baddie, what do you do her? What would be the dictionary definition of a certified bad bitch? I would have to say, I mean, if just like toning it down completely, just a woman who's confident in herself, does whatever she wants for herself, nobody else, just, Woman, whatever, men, whatever, anybody can be a certified bad bitch. 
Is that it's just, the, it's is, just, I think it's just the level of confidence and it's the mindset for sure. This girl's face is my mood. Now, I don't know if I would call myself- Rating yourself has nothing to do with personality. You could have an amazing personality, 10 out of 10, it don't matter. But looks, no, no one's a 10 out of 10. I'll be honest with you. Even the finest girl I could think of is not a 10 out of 10. And it's okay, you can still look good. Not being a 10 out of 10 doesn't mean you look chopped or ugly. It's okay. Self a bad bitch, ironically. But for me to snap my fingers and act sexy, call myself a certified bitch, yeah, I, I don't see myself ever, ever doing that. Nothing wrong with that. Just that's not something for me. I mean, please read the fucking room. Is that the uh, occupation you list on your taxes? Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. Very much that. Very much the vibes. Okay, good times. What about you? My name's also Ali. I'm 19, <laughs> and I'm a student at Santa Barbara City College. Okay. Oh, are you also a certified bad bitch? <laughs> Um, I try to be, yeah. I mean, just look at the fucking difference over here. We see the difference in contrast on how you could act or you should act. And uh, once again, there's nothing wrong with being cocky, with being confident. But it bothers me that she didn't even state what she does. They didn't ask you, do you think you're hot? How will you rate yourself? That's she just true. jumped right That's into true. it. Like, That's I, true. I'm hot. I, I'm pretty. I'm attractive. Uh, do you guys notice me? I got desperate vibes. Hey, I'm 25 and I make men's dating advice content. Oh, My yeah, I've seen Deborah. her before. I'm 23, and I make conservative content. I have no idea who that person is. My name is Samuel. I'm a biochemist full-time, but I'm also... Damn, how the y'all can make Jean Boo on here? <laughs> this Damn. fucking comment Damn. section and live stream Damn. has no Damn, Majin joke. Boo, how, how could you get that creative? I, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Shout out to people who could do content creation with getting roasted like that. Majin Boo, they calling her ass Majin Boo. Yeah, bro, I'm sorry. I'm taking a couple years off content creation to just work out or some shit. Are you single? Do you got friends with benefits? Are you in the talking stage, situationship, relationship? And also, in addition to that, your longest relationship. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I'm in a very committed relationship with my boyfriend right now, Based. and my longest relationship was like two and a half years. I'm very much as single as they come, mm -hmm. and my longest... Uh, Who would have thought, man? I ain't gonna lie, it's their loss, though. You know, if you need someone, hit me up, hit me up. There's no real relationship yet, but my longest talking phase would have to be almost a year, I'd have to say. Longest talking phase? Yeah. Have you Have you ever had a boyfriend? Um, no. Uh, like, officially, no. Officially, no. What does that mean? Just say no. Are you a hoe? Are you a certified freak? No. Uh, like, officially, no. Okay, but you have had, like, a long -term. concurrent period of time. Like, a, you said a one-year period of time where you did yeah, have... very much like a year-long talking stage. Year-long talking stage. Yeah. What? What is... Talking stage, so what... What is that? Yeah, if anyone else wants to chime in. If you're a certified baddie, you cannot. Like, I feel like you would have to be in demand. I don't know if that makes sense, but the fact that you never had an official boyfriend and you're a certified baddie, and maybe it's, it's not them is essentially what I'm trying to say. And what is the talking stage? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're in the talking stage for like a year, I think you should look for someone else. You know, that's just my opinion. A year without doing nothing, without that's becoming true. anything. That's out, true. I'm next. See ya, bitch. That's what I would say. Babe, they couldn't have explained it any better. It's literally hell. Like, Purgatory. It tests your loyalty, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, Wait, it, it what? Like, test the loyalty. For you? Or no, like in general, like for both parties. Did, I guess. did you want commitment, but he wasn't willing to give it? Uh, basically, basically, it was what it was. Um, yeah, they okay. couldn't have said any better. I feel like the talking stage is like when yeah. you add something. I really feel like this podcast, they invited her over to be the butt of the joke. You think they wanted her to actually like be honest and have a productive conversation? The first sign of like disrespect I feel of them talking about me in such a like a, a diminishing way that, that they're clearly not talking about the other girls. Nigga, I'm leaving. Like I know we're cracking jokes and shit, but obviously this person has feelings and shit. Me personally, if I'm in a podcast that I feel like will not benefit me for real and here these people are like talking about me in such a diminishing way, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. To your cart on a website and there's like only one left but it's reserved because it's in your cart but you don't actually buy it. It's a pretty That's good kind metaphor. Of this girl definitely seems annoying. Like I'm just here to clown on anyone, right? I'm not here just to attack that girl. Um, don't get me wrong. She's saying the stupidest stuff. She's being the funniest to clown on. Ask everyone to rate themselves on a scale of one to 10. So let's do that. 10. Um, Kiko, so, okay, we'll start with you. Go ahead. 10. A fat fucking 10. Like, why is there silence in the room? She was meant to be the butt of the joke. They said, Kiki, you go first. 10, all right, whatever her name is. What's yours? A fat F and 10. Cricket noises. Like, bro, they want to make fun of you. A fat 10 too? Why are you going to set yourself up like that? A fat F and 10. You know what they're going to clown you on? A fat fucking 10. <laughs> <laughs> And you see how the whole room is laughing, bro. They not rock with you, bro. Just leave, bro. I mean, I'm just... <laughs> bro, 
Oh, she just walked right into that. Oh my god. It's been a minute since I've had this much fun just reacting to a clip. A fat 10, like she just walked right into this. And the 10 out of 10, respectfully, they're like a 1 out of 10. A negative 2 out of 10. There's no way, there's no place on earth where this would ever be a 10 out of 10. Do you guys think she's a 10 out of 10? Yes, nigga. She's a 10 out of 10 in the Richter scale of earthquakes. Yo, YouTube, I promise you, I am a family-friendly channel. All, all sponsorships, if you want to inquire, I promise you, I, I am literally the best person to do the job. And a fat? Fucking 10. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying what everybody in the comments is gonna say. Be like, oh yeah, she's a fucking 10. <laughs> like, great. Is there a comma somewhere in in that? Y'all see that? Is there a comma? So he wants to insinuate a fat comma F and 10. Yeah, bro, just leave, bro. Statement. Honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> what was said was said. Okay. Yeah. I said what I said, and I meant what I said. Okay. Period. Yeah, delusional. Uh, okay. On a scale of one and to eight. ten. Ten. Answer were you a, the same. Were you a ten last time? Yeah, I was a ten okay. last time. Billy Ray. I feel like I'm a six point seven. With the other girls that claim a ten, why y'all niggas give them the same attention? Dude, why the fuck would you ever say Gorgeous. something like that? Physically or overall? Cap. Oh, She's being real. Everything in. It's okay to have self-confidence. You kind of set yourself up when you say you're a 10 out of 10. Because you know how the internet is, especially if you're not conventionally attractive. But if you're watching this from YouTube, make sure you guys join us on Discord and make sure you catch us on Twitch. Links in the description. We're live at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. PST. Waxer for life. Love y'all. And peace.